Hard to believe we're to that point in the year so far. Satellite and radar shows we've got clear skies. It is a warm day out, a warm November day. We've got nothing cloud wise in the sky, but we do have smoke still across western North Carolina. In Hendersonville, there's an air quality warning that goes until uh, tonight at midnight. And then stretching back through the west, we've got more air quality alerts that uh, are going to be in place for a while now because of the two combined wildfires. We've got the Collette Ridge. The smoke not as condensed today, which is good. Uh, in fact, some in Henderson County near Edneyville not really seeing much smoke, just the way the winds are flowing in here out of the west northwest. A lot of that smoke that is out there is coming from the Collette Ridge wildfire back here that's spreading toward the east as we look closer at that. It's going to be a reality here for a little bit longer until we can get some widespread rain to come in, which may in fact occur on Friday. Let me show you our latest SkyCam networks. A beauty of an evening taking shape. We're in the upper 70s to around 80 area wide. It's warm in Asheville and Hendersonville, 78 in Greenville and Anderson Spartanburg checking in at 79. Our wind speeds are about 5 to 10 miles per hour out of the southwest. This is going to continue to be a deal this week to where we're not even that cool tomorrow morning. Upper 40s to around 50 and then warming quickly right back to the 80s again tomorrow. Greenville 69 by 10 o'clock into the upper 70s to around 80. Spartanburg will start off around 50, get up into the upper 70s to around 80 degrees with lots of sunshine. Same story in Anderson. Clear skies, a beauty of a day near 80 for a high and in Asheville and Hendersonville, we've got a nice breeze out of the south. It will be a warm day into the mid 70s. So 76 in Asheville, Hendersonville, 80 in Greenville, 81 in Anderson and 79 in Spartanburg. Let's look at that temperature trend because we're at 80 through Thursday. Then comes the cooler weather. Friday brings clouds and a chance for some showers, which will keep us down. But then going into the weekend, we're actually a bit below where we should be for this time of the year for a couple of days. Let me show you our rain chances because there will be some edits we need to look at here. As we move through Thursday into Friday, clouds are increasing. Our first chance for rain in a while comes in on Friday. It's just going to be spotty. Not a lot of widespread rain here, even in the mountains. This comes in, it moves out, and it's not going to give us a lot. In fact, some areas will probably dodge some of these showers as they push out of our area Friday evening. Now, Saturday for Veterans Day will be a close call. Right now, it looks like most of the area is dry. Of course, you got the big military day at Clemson for Veterans Day. You got the Georgia Bulldogs uh, hosting a game and you've got Asheville Hendersonville leaf uh, season right now. What we need to look out for here is the fact that there will be some spotty showers to the south. It's going to be a cool day. But Saturday night into Sunday, that low pressure is coming, but it's trended farther south today, which means most of our area may in fact miss this rain on Sunday. We're watching it closely. It's coming. It's just a matter of the track of that low has trended farther south today to where it looks like I-20 southbound will get the bulk of this rain. Then we clear out on Sunday and temperatures stay cool for a couple more days. As far as rainfall totals are concerned, again, through Sunday, the latest expectations are it's going to be a hit and miss type situations. Or seen about a quarter of an inch or less in most areas unless we get that second batch of rain. But there is hope that the pattern's trying to change at least. Going throughout that third week in November, this would be days 10 through 16 here, we're looking at above average precipitation chances along with above average temperatures, which means it's going to be wet and warm, hopefully. So the four day looks like this 80 through Thursday. Then we're in the 60s on Friday with spotty showers. Veterans Day looks mostly cloudy to cloudy with a high of 61 showers to our south on Sunday, but still watching it. Still room for it to change. Sunshine in 60s going into next week. Western North Carolina, same story. A better chance for rain on Friday. Still watching Sunday system closely.